It's ranking time, everybody. This is the video where we go, hey, here are the Justice League members. Not all of them shut up about it. A lot of the main ones and some few other B-list kind of heroes, you know. Which ones? The ones from the comics or the movies or the cartoons? Yes. Correct. Whichever one we feel like. That's right. Whichever one comes to mind first. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. our memories are bad. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to be ranking them S to F. Mm -hmm. Please leave a like on this video. Obviously, you can share your opinions below. We will be reading all of them. <laughs> What? Yeah, on the next video, we're going to read them back to everybody. Oh, that's terrific. That's uh, viewer engagement. People that's love right. that. They really do. And we hate it. <laughs> we're going to do it. Let's start with this one. Martian Manhunter. Sure, okay. Man from Mars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Last of his species sometimes, probably. Yep. He's kind of like Superman, except he can shapeshift and he can be lit on fire in a way that he doesn't like. <laughs> that's right. But isn't that fairly common to most people? I reckon we could probably go down this list and most of the people involved do not like getting lit on fire. <laughs> that's honestly. a great point, actually. So I think we should probably eliminate that from, from the scoring system. No, but I think if you've got like Superman-esque abilities and you can read people's minds and all of these things... But you can be lit on fire? Come on, what are we doing here? <laughs> yep. Wait, what does that mean? I mean, that's stupid, right? It is stupid. It's a stupid vulnerability. Yeah, no, you're right. So you'd rather him just have every power in the universe and also be invulnerable to fire? Yes, yes, Mason. Okay. Thank you for finally understanding okay. what I'm saying. Don't get me wrong. Maybe I'll... he could apply a fine sheen of that, like, stuntman oh, fireproofing yeah. gel goo, to yeah. his body. All the goo every time he goes yeah. out and fights crime. Let's do that. Don't get me wrong. I love the Martian Manhunter. Mm -hmm. I like his rivalry with the white Martians. Oh, absolutely. I love in the movies how they were just like, oh, yeah, this guy's Martian Manhunter. That's right. I loved that. All the clues pointed that way. <laughs> Did they? Yes. Great. He's in Supergirl, I think, the show. Nice. I'm going to give him a... Uh, is he a B or an A? He's I not think a, he's an A. Yeah, he's not an S. No, he's good in a pinch when Superman's not available. <laughs> That's right. Unless he's got to rescue some kids from a burning building. Yes. In which case he's like, we'll just wait. <laughs> Superman will be back from Jupiter any day now. <laughs> exactly. Oh, speaking of doing something quickly, Mason. Yes. Flash. All versions. The main versions. The main you know? version, sure. We're going to hit a few legacy superheroes here. Barry Allen. Great. Wally West. Yep. Wallace West. Mm -hmm. Jay Garrick. Great. The other ones. The other ones. The lady ones. Yes. I mean, he's good. Yep. But he can be lit on fire. Damn it. But I don't think that would bother him, actually. He's got a quick healing factor. He mm -hmm. can run through time and lightning and whatever. Often he'll run into versions of himself and he'll go... Bleh! You know. Is that a defining characteristic of <laughs> I think so. any versions of a Flash? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, look. Now, I feel in the past, him and Superman were equally matched in speed, right? Okay, yeah. But we're beyond that now. Flash is running through time. He can, like, balance on atoms and all of these different things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He can probably run on a sound wave, probably not the Transformer, but also he could do that. Could absolutely do that. Yeah. He could run rings around that prick. That's right. What are you thinking? Bearing in mind... Yes. He was very annoying in that bad movie. Oh, I forgot about that version. I completely <laughs> forgot. I was thinking exclusively comic book versions. And then you reminded me of that terrible movie, <laughs> F. No. Is F the, is no. the, is F the lowest? You, you think we should go lower. It's F for we Flash and F because he's a failure. We can't give him F. Too bad. All right. Sorry, Flash. Sorry, Flash fans. It's the last thing we thought of and you're an F. God, I'm never going to hear the end of this. What I know. Done. I don't even hate that movie. I just think it's funny to give somebody an F out of the gate. <laughs> All right, do you hate this movie? Dr. Fate, big bell-shaped <laughs> head. Sure, sure, sure. He's always looking at people through time. Now, ordinarily, if the movie Black Adam did not exist, yeah. I reckon I'd rank him kind of low. You know, he's very powerful. Sure. But he's not interesting, is he? No. Then... But then, yeah. You bring in a Mr. Pierce Brosnan. God, he's looking good. Silver Fox, incredible. Not a great movie. Not a great no. movie. No. Better than the movie The Flash. I think so. IMO. Mm. But yeah, I agree. That characterization is really good. Also, people are often stealing his helmet. John Constantine's often like, oh, look at me. I'm now I'm this guy or whatever. Or Batman's like, give it to me. I'll put it on. He's probably done that at some point. Sure. You know? What's more important here? Is it the guy or the helmet? Or does the it helmet. matter? Yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> so where do you rank this helmet? No, yeah. <laughs> We should have separate entries for the man and the helmet. <laughs> uh, no, look, again, I, th I think the man is more important. Yep. That being said, if he didn't have the helmet, he'd just be some old dude, wouldn't he? True. So. F. Yeah. F. <laughs> no. <laughs> I reckon. Yes. C. Okay, sure. Reasonable? Yeah, I think so. All right, here we go. We're splitting the difference there. Charismatic man, boring helmet. <laughs> oh, whatever. I've got incredible magic power. Boring. It is boring. What about Aquaman or Aquaman? Mm. Now, I feel like until like the recent adaptations, as in the Jason Momoa version, 
in the mainstream media, people didn't really take this guy seriously. It's really boring. A real doctor fate of a guy, you know? No, I don't think so, because I think if you look back, you know, especially like in the 90s, they do a lot of interesting stuff. You like to say this, Mason. You're always saying it. I can't stop you saying it, that everybody on like a traditional Justice League team they're there for a very specific reason mm. and they're at the absolute top of their game, right? That's right. And he is like that. He's got the strength of Superman, mm. you know. He's the second best at talking to fish after Batman. <laughs> you know? Probably, yeah. Mm. He's got a hook hand sometimes. Sometimes he's got that hook hand. Yeah. He can give you like a stroke. Doesn't sound positive to me. No, I mean, if he's... What if he's waiting too long in the line at the Because, you know, he can, like, talk to, like, the prehistoric kind of fish part of a person's brain and, mm. like, give him a stroke. It's a thing that he can do, right? right he doesn't sometimes. do it very often, but I would use that all the time. You would, because you're always in the line at the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> and against Darkseid or whatever, Mason. Mm, I'd sure, also sure, sure. use it against Darkseid. You've never even met Darkseid. I think he's a bee. That's quite generous. I'm feeling generous. Okay. And I'm looking good. Is it his colour scheme? His carrot-like colour scheme? That's definitely part of it. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah. Sure, all right. Look, I don't love his movies. Mm-hmm. But do I you love his comics? <laughs> I, yeah, some of them I do. Yeah, okay. I do. Do you love his bland comic book look of sort of just being a blonde guy? I like that about it. You like it. that? Okay, yeah. great. So we're doing B? Uh, I guess. That's your one gimme. <laughs> Fair enough. Above the flash. Can you imagine? <laughs> I mean, I didn't I didn't do that. That's your fault. I know, but we've got to invent categories below F. That's how this works. <laughs> All right, Wonder Woman. We're hitting the big time now. Mm, mm, mm. I mean, it's an S, right? Yep, I mean, you know. Would you say the best combatant in the Justice League? Probably. Like yeah. warrior-wise. Batman's probably the best martial artist. But then he will be like, oh, but I want to kill anybody. Well, Wonder Woman's going to kill everybody you leave behind. So <laughs> great work, idiot. Give her more work. Absolutely. A Wonder Woman's work is never done, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> now, what about this? <laughs> Let me just throw this out there. Yes. See if this sways you any which way. Okay. Wonder Woman 1984. That's a bad movie. <laughs> yeah, it is. But... You've the flashed me again. <laughs> Everybody here has a terrible thing. That's true. <laughs> They've been around too long. Cancel them all, I say. Yeah. And you know what? A thing about Wonder Woman, I feel like she's got too many weird gimmicks. Okay. Like she's got the magical lasso. She's got the bracelets. She's got the tiara. But then she's also got the invisible jet. Yeah. What's going on with that? And she can fly. Why is it invisible? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes she can fly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Are we talking A? I mean, we might be talking. I? I don't like this. Mm, but you know what? Linda Carter. True. It's back up to an S. All right, fine. Yeah. Early success on TV, and that Linda Carter is delightful. All right. So. Speaking of early success, no, this, okay. doesn't, this doesn't apply. Hawkman. Oh, yes. I guess we can do Hawkman, Hawk Girl, right? Sure, okay. They're married probably sometimes. Yep. <laughs> okay. Also, I should just point out, some of these, yes, are Justice Society or various other teams and whatever, but all of these at some point have been in the Justice League. It's just a list of people we thought of. That's right. Okay, well, what are we thinking? Mace. Mm -hmm. Bird wings. Sometimes he's an alien. Sometimes not. Sometimes he's a reincarnation of an Egyptian guy. Bleh. And that's cool. That is cool. Mm. I'm sure I was that. I just a guy, no one, like, important. Sure, sure, sure. Just a guy who one of the big stones fell on him. <laughs> sure, okay, yeah. yeah. When the aliens were building the pyramids. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, absolutely, I agree. I'm largely indifferent to Hawkman. Yep. Slash Hawk Girl. Uh-huh. But I think he was delightful in, uh, in Black Adam. God, that movie's doing a lot of heavy work it for you. It really over there. is. <laughs> I don't like this. It really is not a great movie, but I think I think it did. Uh, I think it did quite well for some of the Justice League slash Justice Society members. Aldous Hodge is the is the yeah. actor's name there. And you know what I liked about that? They didn't explain what his deal was. No, they didn't go. You know what? You actually, you know, as a guy who was actually an alien, but was also a reincarnation of an Egyptian guy. I think we should stop Black Adam. Mm. They were just like, here's a guy. Yeah, have a fight. Yeah, have a fight. <laughs> See with Doctor Fate. I would give him a B. Oh, that's ridiculous, but I all right. Know, right? right. I don't like this. He's got that secret headquarters and that bloody the the jet and all that. This movie's doing a lot of heavy That's lifting. your one. Okay, fine. All right, next up we've got Captain Marvel slash now Shazam. Mm, sure, sure, sure. A boy. Mm -hmm. A man. A copyright infringement nightmare. <laughs> That's true. Created by Fawcett Comics mm -hmm. uh, to capitalize on the success of Superman back in the day. Then DC sued him into non existence. Yep. And they bought him. Now they own him. Now they got him. And now they make movies that people didn't see. That's right. And they can't even call him Captain Marvel because Marvel has that copyright. They can't do I it. love all that. B. All right, done. <laughs> I'm a man, but I'm a boy. I'm a man, but I'm a little boy. There's a Justice Society comic book where he wants to date Stargirl, and everybody's like, that's weird, because you look like a man. That is weird. And everybody's like, but I'm a little boy. Well, you look like a man. Well, I'm a little boy. <laughs> C. He's gone down to C. All right. C for creep. <laughs> Captain Creep. Green Lantern. Which one? All of them. Mm. Probably the main one, though. 
Okay. Not the first main one, the next main one. So not Alan Scott, but Hal Jordan. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. But not Guy Gardner. But Guy Gardner, throw him in the mix. Absolutely. He's gonna be, Nathan Fillion's going to be playing him in the upcoming Superman movie. That's yep. a bit of fun. Fine with me. Mm. Used to be susceptible to yellow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Embarrassing. Now, not as much. Sure. Not as embarrassing. Mm. Can make literally anything, but mostly makes hammers and race car tracks and stuff like sure, that. Sure, 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 yeah. yeah. Bad movie, mm-hmm. but also limitless potential. Also... He has to charge up his ring like it's a phone, you know? Absolutely, yeah. And I don't know if I like that. And sometimes he's, you know, the, the Justice League are fighting an alien invasion and he's just there and he's holding his lantern in one hand. It's got a USB cable connected to his <laughs> ring and he's like, just give me five more minutes, guys. Just give me five more No, I can't unplug it because it's an old ring. And the, the, the charge will go out immediately. So I've just got just to gotta keep, it, keep it plugged in there. No, I'm not going to get another rig. They set me up on a plan. <laughs> You have to pay every month for the plan and the think, repayment of the I ring. I don't know which of these apps will transfer over. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make a hammer or a race car because uh, I don't know if the app will swap. I don't know if I can get Flappy Bird again on this. Sorry, Flappy Green Bird. <laughs> Thank you. B? Yeah. Sure. sure. I like him. I He's like fun. And her. And her. Sometimes it's her. That's true. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do a big one. Batman. Never heard of him. Let's just do A and move along. Well, not even not S. <laughs> no, he's an S. Oh, he's an S. Yeah, he's just an S. Assu- when you make an S, you make an S. You as- assume too much, James. Thank you so much for saying that. But it's an S, I think. Yeah. I think we also need to remember he probably had a bad movie. Oh yeah. Which movie? That's up to you to decide. But I think we should think about that. Mm, sure, sure, sure. So does that bad movie that you don't like? Does that sway nine hundred years of pretty good Batman content? No, I just don't watch that movie. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, don't watch it. Yeah, um, fair enough. Yeah, you know he's a more or less regular man on the team. Yep, and that's that's impressive. It is. Yeah, because he absolutely should not be there, mm. but he could one shot most of them. That's true. But honestly, I think there should be more scenes like that point in Justice League where all the main guys are having a big battle and he huffs and puffs his way. Just just by <laughs> right by the end, he's like, oh, what do I miss you guys? There should be also more scenes where people just shove him. Remember the time Wonder Woman just shoved him? Yeah. And he was like, oh, I could die. Let's do Cyborg. Okay. He's all right. Yeah, I see him mostly as a Teen Titans guy. I agree. Mm. Get back on the Teen Titans. That's right. Grown man. Go back to being a teen. <laughs> I mean... I feel like Batman could also fill that tech role if you really needed to. Just call Alfred and go, Alfred, I need to open this bank vault or whatever. Well, I'll, well, I'll just drop a bat plane on it. <laughs> I'm a billionaire. Yeah. I think... He I made th- the money big in Justice League. Oh, that's true, yeah. See, here's the thing, though. I think we are seeing Cyborg through a lens of he's been underused. I was going to say that, In, yes. like, expanded media, you know yep. what I mean? They've given him roles on, like... Titans or, you know, they put him in Smallville or mm-hmm. they put him in the Justice League movies. Sometimes. But his role is kind, like, they don't they don't really give him enough to do yeah. kind of thing, you know? That's true. Mm. So D is what you're saying. No. He made the money big. That's a C. And that's nice. That's C for cha-ching. Yeah. Big money, baby. Boy, is it. Let's do these two boys together because <laughs> they're often teaming up. Oh, yeah. And he had a movie recently, which <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about. Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. Sure, sure, sure. Now, in the comics, Ted Kord is the more kind of famous Blue Beetle, mm-hmm. I would say, but yep. he didn't get a movie. That's true. So that sucks for him. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of sucking, these guys suck. Yeah, They're but funny, that, but they're that's losers. What I like about them, though. I understand. Well, that's a calculation we have to make. Yeah. They're funny, but they are big losers. Mm-hmm. And also, we've never really established how we're ranking these things. <laughs> Is it to their usefulness as part of the Justice League when they're fighting like a like a like an extinction-level threat? Yeah, Like yeah. a dark side? Sure. Then they're useless. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, he's from the future, Booster Gold, and that's cool, but he's a big loser. Mm-hmm. Probably a D, but I like him. Yeah. It's like, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks for coming, Blue Beetle, but we do have Batman here. Yeah. And uh, thanks for coming, Booster Gold, but we have a vending machine. Go machi- away. We have a vending machine, so we don't need you to go get snacks. So, <laughs> What about the Atom or Atom? Mm-hmm. Big guy, small guy. He's in that movie you fucking love. Or yeah, whatever. I do. I love it. Didn't have a lot to do in that movie. He did some smashing. He did some smashing. Did some didn't slow-mo he? running up a street. That's true. He did. Yeah. He did all the things Ant-Man did. Yeah. He's Henry Winkler. He is he- he okay. Henry all right, he is. Because it is For the second. second. Yeah, he's the second one in that movie. The, the one he? in Black Adam, I think, is technically Atom Smasher. Yeah, that's true, actually. Mm. You're right. Yeah. But then you've got to factor in the original Atom, who was just a little guy who was good at punching. But not that good at punching. No. So Gosh, we shouldn't have even put this guy on the list. Ridiculous. We put this guy, this one individual guy on the list. All right, he's this out. Guy, this one guy's all over the place. Oh, he's just out. <laughs> yeah, he's out. This bit remains in the video, but he's just out. Yep, in exactly. The bin. In the bin. Sorry, Atom, the Atom slash Atom Smasher. 
Okay, let's do Green Arrow. He's Batman, but he's got a bow and arrow. Mm. Sometimes he does a murder. Sometimes he's like, no murders for me, thank you. I'll just do this one, though. Sometimes he's like, mm, only the purity of the longbow and the, and the hunting arrow for me. But sometimes he's like, boxing glove arrow. Mm -hmm. Or a gun. Oh, it's a gun arrow? Yeah, a gun arrow. <laughs> Look, he's no Batman, right? Mm. And Otherwise, he'd be called Batman. Yeah, he would be. That would be one of the reasons. Mm. I mean, he had a TV show for a long time, and that says something. That's true. He gets points for abs. Yep. The gets Salmon Ladder. Uh, but without that TV show, where would you be putting him? I would still put Remember him Remember he one-armed shot an arrow at Superman in that yeah. comic book? That's With what I'm teeth? saying. I think generally I'll, I like his attitude. Yeah. I Honestly, I like his attitude in the comic books more than I like his attitude in the TV series. Because he's got a bad attitude? He's got a bad attitude. Yeah. He's a bad boy with a bad Straighten attitude. Straighten up, young man. Yeah, that's right. But he never will. He won't. He can't. Oh, yeah. That's right. You're going to give this guy an A. Is that what you're going to do? Yeah, here? that's what I'm going to do. Oh, my God. This is my one. I'm going to give him an A. <laughs> Let's do a few weird ones. Let's just throw them in, all right? All right. Black Canary. Big Scream. Probably other powers also <laughs> at various times. Good pairing with uh, with Green Arrow. Yep. Obviously. Um, D. All right, then. <laughs> Zatanna. Sure. Uh -huh. Magic. Magic, sure. Outfit. Mm -hmm, great. Tremendous. Is it real magic or is it pretend magic? Too vague. Yeah. I mean, it's real, but it's, it's, real, yeah. it's real magic, but I think her power set, like, it's too vague. Yeah. How does she do it? Well, she speaks words backwards. Yeah. What's the limitations of that? We don't know. Mm. Why don't you just solve all crime? Why don't you solve all crime and world hunger? Oh, you, you can't say that backwards. <laughs> is that the one thing you can't say backwards? Solve all world crime and world hunger? Well, guess what? I'm doing it. Going to do it right now. Whoa! And then we'd put a clip in where you reverse me saying, <laughs> "Solve all world crime and world hunger," but just leave this bit in. Yeah, yeah, we'll leave this bit well. in also. Yeah, gotcha. I've done it, Zatanna. So how'd you do it? I got low net mouth, and just be with technology. Power I mean, we're giving now. you a B then, and she can get an E for not solving world hunger. That's right. Where would you put Constantine? He's more like he'll show up and be like, "I'll do it." I'll do it. What are we doing? I'll do it. Yeah, he's often on the. He's often he's on, on Justice League Dark and. Yeah, he's often on like the, the spooky teams, the, the the team of remnants or leftovers. Like in an injustice world, when all yeah. the rest of the heroes are gone bad or died, he's the leftover. Yeah, not a team player. F as a member of the Justice wow. League, I'm giving him an F. That's pretty rude. That's right. What about elongated man? Mm, he do sure. a big stretch. Mm -hmm. He's no plastic man. Plastic man can turn into basically anything. And yeah, elongated yeah, yeah. man is just like, I'll get the thing on the shelf. Mm. Oh, wait, Batman got it already because he's got a grappling hook. <laughs> you know, but he is a good detective. Yep. He's almost as good a detective as the Batman himself. Wow, if only there wasn't another detective on this team who That's was right. better. <laughs> I've detected that Darkseid is coming with a million parademons to destroy the world. Thanks, man. That's literally always happening. Good detecting. <laughs> I detected that also with my super supervision eyes. So what You're are we, fired, elongated man. Are we doing an A? As a Justice League member? Yeah. As a detective? As a, as a delight. This isn't a list of detectives, That's what Mason. I'm saying. E? For elongated man, sure. Perfect. Absolutely. We left the big one for last. Superman. Which version? The one that's alive at the moment. <laughs> okay, right. Not uh, his son or <laughs> from a parallel dimension or New 52 or whatever. Just regular Superman. Not the one from Zack Snyder's Justice League where he's clearly mind-controlled and he's destroyed the world. Because mm. that's bad. That's bad, actually. And that's actually, as as a member of the Justice League, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, That's against the Justice League charter. They probably make you sign it, something. Yeah, it's, it's towards the back. It's like, are you going to destroy the world as part of a mind control plan by Darkseid? Yes, no. <laughs> mm. <laughs> can I leave this blank? Can I think about it for a couple of days? You can think about it for a couple of days, yes. I mean, he's an S. I know people have had this argument many times over, and I think this is more of kind of a, a general worldview, that, like, he's boring. But I've never found him boring. I agree. I think his strengths make him interesting and in how he limits himself and how he interacts in the world and all of these things. That's what I like about him. Yeah. It was always little underwear. I like those. Oh, you do? Yeah, man. I think the bigger the trunks, the better. Oh, bigger? Yeah. I like that too. Like bloomers. Oh, my God. Yeah. Got a bit of width to them and a bit of drape. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. They flow it in the wind. So we're putting him in S? Yes. So we got... Which on my world stands for hope. Wow, that's yeah. great. But in the terms of tier lists, <laughs> I don't know what it stands for. Super duper? Why is it an S? Success? Success. Big success. Succession. Yeah, succession. Okay. Yeah, it's as good as... The TV series Succession. Wow, that's which, good. Yeah, it ended really well. Mm. It ended quite strong if you haven't seen it. So in S we've got the Holy Trinity. Oh, did you, that, Not did you the, do that deliberately? No, I really didn't, but Wonder wow. Woman, Batman, Superman, S tier. Wow. So there you go. Well, that's just perfect, isn't it? Isn't it just? Very convenient. If you have a ranking, leave it below. If you've got some banking to do, yes. do it now before the bank closes. Get it done and then you know it's done. That's right. Then you can relax. Absolutely. Yeah.
Watch more videos from Mr. Sunday Movies channel. Wow, you can actually watch those early. Whoa. Oh, yeah, if you go to bigsandwich.co. Which and you've done your banking. And you've done your banking also, which is like our private Patreon. We've got movie commentaries also, bonus exclusive podcasts, video game Let's Plays, our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. That comes out there every Sunday as opposed to Monday. All of that is ad-free. Or you can just subscribe here. We've probably done a commentary on Zack Snyder's Justice League. We actually have, yes. And maybe we'll be covering it soon, Mason, for oh, Caravan of Garbage. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe. Oh, it's long. Yeah, it's long. All right, thanks, everyone. Grab that gem, you guys. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.